We just got our first look at the new Disney Plus live action Percy Jackson series, and it's pretty exciting. It's looking like we might finally have a good and faithful book adaptation. We've waited so long for this, so let's hurry up and get right into breaking this trailer down. I didn't want to be a half-blood. Being a half-blood is dangerous. It's scary. Most of the time, it gets you killed. So Walker Scobell, the actor cast to play Percy Jackson, says the opening lines from the first book. The lines that sucked me and so many others right into this incredible series. And it looks like these lines are going to do the same job again, as it pulls both fans of the books and new viewers into what's looking like an amazing TV series. It's also pretty cool to hear Walker's young voice and not someone whose voice is dropped and is like a grown adult, because it means we finally have an age-appropriate casting choice. While Percy speaks, we see a ton of shots of Camp Half-Blood, and it's a amazing. Let's break it down shot by shot. We see a sign that shows the stables, archery, which has the Y in the shape of a trident, and camp cabins, which are of course the 12 cabins, one for each god and goddess. I imagine the signs we can't see include the sword fighting arena, the dining pavilion, the amphitheater, the armory, or the big house. We then see Percy unpack a necklace in what is most likely the Hermes cabin, which is where all of those demigods go who don't know their godly parent yet. This necklace is of course the one that every camper gets. The tradition is that at the end of every summer, the head counselors vote on the biggest event from that year, and based on that, they paint a bead that represents this. Then each camper gets that bead and puts it on their necklace. At this point, Percy doesn't have any because it's his first summer there, but others who have been there for a long time like Luke and Annabeth each have a ton of beads on their necklace. After that, we see Percy walking along the water, which might allude to who his father is, Poseidon, the god of the sea. This next shot got me hyped. We see that they're actually wearing the orange Camp Half-Blood t-shirts just like in the book, something that the films left out entirely. Looking more closely, we again see that necklace, and again, it's beadless. If you look at Percy's arm, his sleeve is sliced, meaning this probably takes place after the Capture the Flag duel where Clarice and the other Ares kids ambushed him. We see a few shots of owls in the trees, and Rick Riordan, the author of the series who was heavily involved in making the show, said that those are legit owls who just happened to be there on the day of shooting, and they decided to keep them in. This of course is fitting, because as Rick said, it's almost as if Athena was giving them their blessing, as the owl is often paired with the goddess. In this next shot, many people online thought that this was Annabeth played by Lee Jeffries, but it isn't. Rick said that neither Annabeth nor Grover made it in this trailer, so those are just a bunch of other campers who are most likely getting ready for the capture the flag sequence. I again love that they all have their orange t-shirts underneath their armor, and the fact that they're all actually kids. It's exactly how I imagined the campers to look when reading the books. The next shot of Percy is a continuation of the other shot of him walking, and it again proves that it's after the capture the flag sequence, because at the end of that sequence, it was of course revealed who his father was with a trident over his head, and if you remember in the book, everyone bowed down to him, all in great shock, and in this shot, that's why everyone is watching him the way that they are, they're again in shock just like in the book, which I really like, it's a nice little detail. Percy is probably walking from Hermes cabin, which as I said was his first cabin when he didn't know his godly parent, and he's in Instead, moving into Poseidon's cabin, which no one else resides in given the Pact of the Big Three, which was intended to stop the Big Three, Poseidon, Zeus, and Hades from having any more children. Just looking at this shot, they put so much detail into the cabins, it's magnificent. It's so much better than the film's cabins, which were just a row of identical wooden buildings. We also see the demigod children of each godly parent outside their father or mother's house, and then Percy walks up to Poseidon's cabin, and it looks glorious. He's of course the only resident of this cabin, again because of the Pact of the Big Three. He would later share it with Tyson in the second book, but during the events of this season in the first book, it's just him there. After that, we get our final shot, which is a close-up shot of Percy's face, and the film student in me just has to admire the beauty of this shot, with the light and shadow perfectly splitting his face. Here, Percy is sweating quite a bit, and at first, given the color palette, I thought this could be in the underworld, but they're so early in production, I don't think they shot that yet. So this might be when Poseidon's trident appears over Percy's head, but either way, something big is happening here and I'm excited to see what it is. And then we get the title reveal. This trailer has made me extremely excited for this show. The amount of detail they've put into this already is astounding, and it really shows that everyone working on this appreciates the source material, something we didn't really have in the past with the movies. Let me know what you guys think though. Did this trailer excite you? Did you notice anything I didn't? Comment below and let me know. 
Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram to see more of my personal life like my cute dog Loki and some behind the scenes movie flame stuff. I also do similar content on TikTok and Twitter that I do here on this channel, so if you like what I do here, check them out. All the handles are right below me and links are in the description. Over here are my wonderful patrons. If you want to be featured on the next video plus get a few other perks, become a patron today. As always, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe and look out for more great movie flame videos on the way.